Hey guys, so I'm doing a Black Friday haul video because I've never done one before and I don't really know why because I've done Black Friday shopping for movies in the past but yet I've never done a video, you know, showing off my purchases so I've decided, why don't I do it? Why don't I share my purchases of Black Friday this year with you guys? So that's what I'm going to do. I have to say this year I'm slightly disappointed with a few stores. I'm disappointed with Best Buy. Best Buy really didn't have that great of a sales. And the things that they had that were decent prices weren't all that great or I already owned the movie. So that was really disappointed. Target was complete garbage. They didn't have anything worth anything. And Walmart, wow, Walmart surprised me this year because they had some pretty good sales and they had some pretty damn good titles as well for the stuff they had. I started today later in the afternoon because honestly I did not want to deal with the crowds. I, I just don't like that. So I went to Walmart. I was looking through all their movies, you know, taking my time, making sure I was going through everything and you know, whatever I found that I wanted I would grab. As I was doing this, one of the Walmart employees was walking around with a sharpie and he started marking off all the sales. and. Me and four other women were just standing there with like our hands full of like, you know, DVDs or Blu-rays and we're like, what's going on? And he's like, oh, we, uh, well, I just got the word that Black Friday is technically over for Walmart at this store. And I'm like, it's three o'clock in the afternoon. It's still Friday. Where exactly did it state anywhere in the sales paper, which I looked through, or in the store that you guys were going to stop at this time? your sales. So long story short, we complained enough that the manager came out and he gave us the prices as they were for Black Friday. So I managed to get the movies for their Black Friday deal. So I'm going to share what I got. Uh, I got them all right here. This is all my purchases right here. They're all DVDs. I do not own Blu-rays. I don't have a Blu-ray player. I'm not about that life yet. I haven't um, converted to that change yet. I, I am, I'm not emotionally prepared for that. So the things that I purchased, I'm going to show you the movies, the titles. Uh, the first one is Dirty Dancing. I've always wanted to purchase this but it's one of these movies they always play on TV so it's not something you have to own because they even have it on Netflix I think. They had it for $1.96 and I was like you know what that's not a bad price. Also Rewatch value of this movie is pretty good. I, I personally enjoy this film and the soundtrack to it. So I ended it, you know, ended up getting it. Next one is Grease. This is another one that, again, they replay on television all the time. Probably they have it on Netflix. I think I own this on VHS. So I decided getting it because I've watched it several times. Another movie that I really like and I love the soundtrack to it as well. So I ended up getting this as well to add to my collection. The next movie I purchased is Braveheart. You can take my life but you will never take my freedom. I absolutely adore this film. I, I remember re-watching this on HBO several times but it's been so long since I've seen it because I, I really I don't think they have it on Netflix and I haven't really seen it on television very often. So when I saw this I'm like yeah I'm gonna get this and I'm probably gonna watch it tonight because I haven't seen this movie in a while and I really really enjoy it. It was a great great film. If you've never seen this, watch it. Great film. And the next movie I got is Fight Club. Um, I've seen this several times. I really enjoy this movie. I never owned it and they had it and it was for $1.96 and I'm like $1.96? Why not? I'm taking it. Yeah, I'm taking it. So. I took it and now I own it. Now I own Fight Club and I will probably rewatch this again because it's been a while since i seen this movie as well so I'm looking forward to watching this again. So yeah, now I own it. Good thing. And the last purchase that I did was the whole series of Harry Potter. I've always wanted to own every Harry Potter movie but all the box sets DVD wise Walmart always had it for like $52. Best Buy has it for like $82. Amazon doesn't have it fit for any cheaper. So I was like, you know what? They have them there. They have every single one of them. They're all $1.96. This is a lot cheaper than the box sets and now I own every single Harry Potter film from the first to the very last to Deathly Hallows Part 2. So I'm pretty happy with this. And I, this is something I'm 
definitely going to go through and rewatch because I love the Harry Potter series and I've always wanted to own it, but I never wanted to pay the price for the box set. So now I have them all for a pretty decent price. So those are all the movies that I ended up getting. They had some good titles that I really actually wanted to get, but unfortunately I wasn't able to get it due to that drama with Walmart just randomly changing the prices on everything at 3 o'clock in the afternoon on Black Friday. But anyways, so yeah, those are my purchases for Black Friday. That's my Black Friday haul. I'm pretty proud of what I got. I'm curious to hear what you guys get. Do you guys get anything good? Anything worth, you know, mentioning? Um, were, where were the best sales for you guys? Was it Walmart, Best Buy, Target, or elsewhere? I'm curious to hear so I can mark it down for next year so I can, you know, find some pretty decent movies for a decent price. So, that's it for this video. Goodbye!